What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to define the required lighting. After learning how to specify electrical settings, so in this exercise, we're going to specify the lighting levels that are uh, required for the different spaces within the building, such as the offices, restrooms, and conference rooms. So we begin by adding a new project parameter, which is required lighting level. Okay, and then we are going to create a ski. Uh, we are going to create a key schedule that links our new parameter to the various types of spaces in our project. So key schedules provides an efficient way to create an instance parameter that can be used to map specific parameter values to particular key styles. So in this case, the key style is the type of space. And because the key is linked to your new project parameter, its value becomes the required lighting level. Okay, so later in the tutorial, we will use the new parameter again to compare the value for required lighting level against the actual illumination provided by fixture that we place in the plan. All right? Now, so the first part of the exercise, let's add a project parameter for lighting. So how to do that? So I go to the Manage tab, okay, and then you can look for the Settings panel. You can see there your project parameters. So let's select that one. And then as you can see, these are the project uh, parameters that is already created in this project. So we are going to create a new one. So I'm going to select Add. Okay, and then for the name here, I'm going to type Required. Uh, lighting level okay and then of course the discipline will gonna be electrical and then the type of parameter we're talking about luminance and then I want to group it under electrical lighting there you go okay and then what else for the categories here so I'm going to select uh, spaces so I want to apply that required lighting level parameter to the spaces and then I'm going to use instance parameters okay so that's it so we just created a new parameter for the spaces under the discipline electrical and illuminance type of parameter on the electrical lighting group instance okay so I just select okay and then I just select okay again there you go so we just created a project parameter for Lighting. So the required lighting level project parameter has been added and will appear as an instance parameter for all spaces under the electrical lighting group in our properties. Later on, I'm going to show you that. Okay, now uh, let's verify the new parameter. Okay, so as you can see, we are on level 2 power plan. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open... The lighting design here so I just expand the floor plans and open the level 2 lighting plan so let's double click that one and then after that I'm gonna zoom into this area okay so this is our space 218 so I'm gonna select the properties here and then I'm going to select the space 218 so you just click that one and then from the space properties, let's look for electrical lighting group. And then you will now see there the parameter that we have created. Okay. So we need to select a space first. And then look at the space properties. And then you look at the electrical lighting grouping. And then you will now see there the parameter that we have created. So basically, that's how you add a new parameter. Okay. Now, the next part of the exercise after verifying the uh, required lighting level parameter. So let's create a schedule for required lighting levels. So how to create a schedule? Okay, so it's simple. Just go to your project browser. Look for the schedules there. Just right click that and then just select schedule quantities. New schedule quantities. Okay, another way of creating a schedule, just, just go to the View tab and then look for the Schedules drop down and then select Schedule Quantities. Just click that one. Okay, and then on our New Schedule dialog box, so let's 
use a spaces here as our category and then I'm gonna put the name here so I'm gonna call this space lighting requirements okay and then I'm gonna use a schedule keys and then for the key name here I'm gonna use, I'm gonna type in oops lighting levels okay and then just select okay so schedule keys key name lighting levels just select okay all right and then on our fields tab okay so under our available fields here so these are the available fields so i'm gonna double click the parameter that we have created earlier the required lighting level okay so the schedule displays oh, why is it there's a key name here okay so there's the key name and then so we also have the required lighting level okay so the schedule displays and include a title and column headings if we select here okay that's the one that I'm talking about okay so we have the key name and then we have the required lighting level okay now, the next part of the exercise is after creating a schedule for the required lighting levels, so we are going to add lighting requirements to the schedule table. Okay? So, how to do that? So, we are going to add a new uh, column there. Okay, so here... Oops, where's my pointer? Okay, for this one, so I'm going to select insert data row okay there you go and then for the key name so I'm gonna key in here open office and then for the required lighting level so let's say I'm just gonna type uh, 45 FC okay and then e enter that's it so we just added so the next part of the exercise we are going to add uh, more rows here okay so let us add more rows how about we're going to add 13 more so insert data row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so let's name this one so this is for the uh, assembly Okay, the next one is for uh, building services, enter, and then cafeteria or uh, lounge. Okay, and then uh, circulation, and then for computer, oops, so let's say this is for computer room and for conference room. What else? Uh, for instruction room, uh, high task instruction room, and then what else? Uh, instruction, instruction uh, standard standard instruction room, standard. Okay, what else? Uh, for library. Uh, open office what else so uh, private office private office and then what else uh, of course restroom and support room okay and then let us add the required lighting level so let's say for the assembly I've got uh, 50 FC uh, building services 30 FC 20 FC uh, let's say 20 FC as well of course in every company there is a standard value for that one so you can just refer to that uh, handbook okay 35 FC or you can just ask the engineer that is designing the building 75 FC, so let's say 50 FC, library that is 50 FC, 
Okay, uh, private office around uh, 50 FC. Okay, private. Uh, so this one is 50 as well. Open office, that one is just 45 FC. Okay, what else? The restroom that is 20. We don't put too much lighting on the restroom, so support. Okay, so about 75 FC. What else? So let me just add one more for uh, lobby. Okay, so for the lobby, it's a 20 FC. That's it. Alright, so as you can see, the FC value is, so these are the FC value. So it's automatically applied as the parameter is based upon illuminance parameter type, which is mapped to project units. So notice that you enter the data, the rows are automatically sorted by uh, key name. So you can change the sort grouping to sort by required uh, lighting level. Okay, so how to do that? Okay, so let me just go to the properties. And then after that, let's look for sorting and grouping. So let's say I want to sort this. By the way, if you want to expand the column, you can drag this manually or you can just double click that one, that part, double click, and then it should, oh, okay, so doesn't, okay, yeah. Usually when I double click this one, it will adjust automatically but this one is not working so you just need to drag it manually then just like that okay so i want this to be sorted so i go to the property scheduled property sorting grouping i click the edit and then i'm gonna sort it by required lighting level so just select that one and then after that i'm gonna put a blank line so i'm gonna check that i want to have a blank line okay and then i'm going to select your okay right so select okay and there you go as you can see it's now sorted by required lighting level so it's all 20s 30s 35s 45 50s and 75 and then there's a blank line that was created okay so using the same method so you can change the sort order back to the default cent uh, default settings so the entries in the schedule are sorted by key name okay so if you want to do that so same procedure just go back again to sorting grouping so instead of required lighting level just select key name and then just select okay so you can also do that right okay all right so how come I have two office open opus here? So I'm gonna click this one and then I want that to be deleted. So that's a row, so I click that row. Delete. Okay, there you go. Now the next part of the exercise after creating the space lighting requirement schedule. So let us apply a lighting level to spaces. Okay, so I'm going back to my uh, project browser and then let's go to the lighting plan again. On our level 2 lighting plan okay and then I'm going to select the space here again so I'm gonna select this one and then on the properties you can see that on the electrical lighting the required lighting level here is blank okay so let's say for this room I want this to be the instruction standard room so from the required lighting level, I click that. Oops, sorry. So I just type here. Where is my identity data? Because I want this to be uh, instruction standard room. Okay. So that's why here on the name or on the lighting level, sorry. So I click the drop down arrow. And then let's look for instruction standard. So I will select this and then apply. Okay, and then let's look again on the lighting here. So as you can see, automatically now it applies the required lighting level for the selected space here because the lighting level for that 
we have assigned that to instruction standard. And if we're going back to the space lighting requirements, as you can see, the instruction standard that is 50. So that's why it's it's now automatically applied on our uh, space here. So you just select that one, and then as you can see, it's now 50 FC because the lighting levels is instruction standard. Okay, so that's it. So notice that the required lighting level now has the value of 50 FC. Okay, and then the field is dim since the lighting level is set to use the value assigned to the instruction standard key value. Okay, so the only way to change the value is to either select a different lighting level key, select none for lighting level, and type a specific value, or edit the required lighting level key schedule for the selected key. Since the required lighting level is an instance parameter, the value input applies only to the selected space. Okay? So basically, that's it. So you can apply a key schedule to multiple spaces at the same time by selecting the spaces and specifying the lighting levels in the electrical properties like uh, like, for example, um, for this uh, two space here, so I'm going to select this space and then hold control. I'm going to select this one again, the other one, sorry. And then I'm just going to change here the lighting levels. Let's say, for example, for that room, I want that to be the, let's say, uh, circulation. So let's say uh, instruction high task. So I select that and then apply. And then if we go check the required lighting level, as you can see, it's now applied 75 FC. All right? So that's it. So for the next video that we are going to work on, so we are going to create a color fill scheme for space lighting. All right? So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.